right? Uh, this note is related to the multimedia lesson that we are doing now. So please collect this from Slapmali. So this is released uh, and you can just go uh, get it from the drive. Uh, please contact her and get the note, right? It's related to the multimedia chapter. And uh, today's topic, we will be discussing about the practical uh, application of this graphic design, basically the design application. So we will just learn the overview and about some tools uh, used in this GIMP or GIMP, which means GNU Image Manipulation Program, right? GNU Image Manipulation Program. And before that, I would like to pay our focus to learn about the two type of graphics available for our editing according to the book. So these are the two types of graphics available uh, for our editing purposes. So one is called raster graphics and the other one is called vector graphics. These are the two types available for editing, raster and vector. Out of that, we have recognized raster graphic as we have done some experiments related to the raster graphic and also the calculations we have done related to the raster graphic that is pixel based graphic which we learn any picture taken by a camera any picture taken by a camera uh, and also a, any pixel based illustration or graphic belongs to this category raster graphic means if you zoom into so let me take an image okay let's take this image as an image if you zoom into this so still you cannot see anything but if you so this since this has a higher number of pixels right this i have taken using my dslr camera actually that is 24 megapixel camera 24 megapixel camera and uh, you can see if i go to image size it has uh, here I have reduced the size so this is not 24 now because I have reduced it to 2048 and uh, 3068 altogether how many pixels altogether how many pixels let's do the calculation so you have to multiply them roughly 6 megapixel right I have reduced it this to 6 megapixel that's 2048 multiplied by uh, 3068 3068 roughly it is here 6 million pixels or 6 megapixels right 6 million 6.2 actually 6.2 or 6 megapixel now the 24 megapixel image has reduced to 6 megapixel and still in this 6 megapixel image still when you zoom into 33 no pixels 50% no pixels, 66% still no pixels, 100% no pixels visible, 100 and sorry, 200% still no pixels, cannot see any pixel. Okay, good. Uh, now 300% no pixels yet, but you can slightly see the pixels. 400%. No, 500%, now you can see the pixels, the square shape. Let's zoom more, 600%, 700%, 800%, 1000%, 200%, now you can clearly see the pixels. So these are, so this tiny square is known as a pixel. This is actually, I have selected two pixel area. So this single, now actually I have zoomed 6400, that's 6400%, that is a, bigger amount i have zoomed this image 6400 and when i select you can see when i select this is called a pixel this small unit is a pixel so let me zoom minus 3 2 1600 still you can see the pixel 1200 still you can see the pixel 800 percent still you can see the pixel 700 still you can see the pixel see the highlighted area right see the highlight see the highlighted area this is uh, 700 600 yes see 500 slightly 400 now you cannot actually you can see the highlight but 
using this highlight, you will not be able to recognize the pixel, right? When you have higher number of pixels, image is more clear. When you have higher number of pixels, the image is more clear. Right, anyway, this pixel-based traffic, what is the name of this pixel-based traffic? Yes. If a graphic is created using pixels or dots like this, then, then that traffic is called, which traffic? What is the name? Hello, can you hear me? What is the name of that traffic? Raster graphics. Raster traffic, right. Name of the traffic is raster traffic if it is pixel based so advantage is you can represent anything in the world using raster graphics any picture any image can be represented any kind of even a cartoon a real image a waterfall a scenery or people or cell anything that you wish to show can be represented using raster graphics easily and to display that it is not taking that much of processing power as well. It's not taking that much of memory too. And it is basically prepared one, prepared pixels, prepared set of pixels. Only issue is when you zoom into, the pixels will appear. If there is a very less number of pixels, then the problem comes. Let's see, image, image size. I'm going to reduce the number of pixels this time to, uh, let's reduce this to inches. Keep this six by 10 inch, but I'm reducing the pixels to 20 pixels per inch. Angala got a pixel with side. Angal high eye, the high eye. We take a high eye, the high eye. I'm reducing number of pixels. Okay, let's reduce to 10 pixels per inch. Angala got a pixel, the high eye. 10 pixels per inch. And can you see the image is now? If you try to zoom this image, oh, pathetic. So can you see what will happen? So this is the issue of raster graphic. If number of pixels are low or resolution is low, then image will be image will be crispy. Image is not exactly clear. So this is 10 pixels per inch. Let's reduce this to uh, reduce this to 40 pixels per inch. Better than previous. But still, you can see the image is crispy, right? But better than previous, but image is crispy. So not that much good. So let's reduce to 72 pixels per inch. So I think uh, the traffic is in 100% zoom, traffic is somewhat clear. Not bad. This is good for saving in uh, for like websites when we are saving images for website we use this size 72 pixels for each when you're saving pictures for websites because when less number of pixels you know the size will be reduced the file size will also be reduced okay let's see what they have told about this array of pixels yes we learn no file record that means no instructions to display so this is like in vector graphics put there there are instructions because vector traffic need to be redrawn each time it needs to be redrawn you can zoom karno ke ne vector ka i and then i and then tava zoom karno ke ne i and then ek pixel ne no pixels it uses curves straight lines curves shapes etc mathematically created graphic but you can just write down, put an asterisk and write here actually. This is a mathematically created graphic. Why it is mathematically created graphic? Because it uses straight lines, curved lines, and the calculations. Therefore, this number of lines, straight lines, curved lines, and colors. How curved lines shape these colors? These things need to be stored. So records need to be maintained. The quality loss when the size changes, when you zoom, pixels will appear. But here when you zoom, even zoom, no pixels will appear. 
this is not good for very high quality creations but this is suitable but that doesn't mean that we cannot use for height uh, so if you increase the number of pixels yes we can use pixels gana medical apita use karanna pula nattam me kamma meka not suitable kiyala in karanna ba loke tiyenne raster tama wedi hariyak thiyenne raster graphic mehema vector wayen apita minisu hadanna ba it's very difficult to create a person's face using vector because how can we calculate our face how many pixels are there in our face how many shapes how many curves are there how many colors are there can we create such a shape using calculations oh my god can do but it will be heavy calculation right a very heavy calculation <coughs> and that's why it used more memory and it reduced the space of speed of the computer when creation when creating because it need to calculate so the processing power is used to reduce the speed right well <coughs> and these are software adobe illustrator live motion coral paint and another thing adobe flash fireworks extension this expression design draw plus zara photo and graphic design coral draw litha paint these are some example software which can be used to edit vectors and create vectors <coughs> and there are some features in 3d max maya like 3d animation software also and 2d animation software like flash will also support this uh, mathematical illustrations let me show one thing actually this is not a real real vector but let let me give the idea of vector by uh, showing an image i'm going to use python so what you can do is if you want you can download this and use it you can download python ideally python ideally you can download and do this but uh, actually this for all of us you don't want to do this but just to give an idea about this uh, vectors i'm going to do some small vector creation I'm importing turtle library and t equal to turtle dot turtle. And then let's say for k in range, I need a triangle with three sides. Mm. I need the triangle in. Uh, I need triangle in some color. Mm, okay, I I need one hundred and fifty. One side length is one hundred and fifty pixels. And let's forward this. Let's turn uh, left side one hundred and twenty degree pixels. So let's create this first. and when i draw you can see it re it creates the graphic it draws the graphic so this is the idea of vector see see what happen it draws actually i have slowed down the process otherwise if it is so faster you will not be able to see so let me speed up a little uh, t speed tikak mangadi karana not much just speeding up a little and now you can see okay here yeah, this is the illustration and what what i'm going to do is let me uh, repeat this process so for few more times for uh, j in range so these are the actually these are the nodes notation so these are the instructions so it's like a script after running the script that image will be created so i need to repeat this uh, 72 times 72 times i need to repeat this step and each time when you do i need to rotate um so how many degrees so much uh, okay i need to rotate um if it is 36 times 10 degrees now i need to rotate 5 degrees 
36 6 now 10 degrees 36 into 10 will be 360 72 into 5 will be 360 okay i need to rotate t dot uh, let's say right side forward in not i g h t so i need to forward i need to turn uh, five degrees after each round so let's see what will be the result of this drawing this is also illustration but the same triangle i am using 72 times 72 triangles this time so let's see what will happen one two three four just count it and you will see there will be 72 triangles all together so now 36 already done next 36 is remaining Yes, see it's creating faster. Okay, you can see it's like a bicycle wheel or something like I maybe. Uh, so different illustration, right? These illustrations can be created using this. So this is how the strips or these strips, actually you don't want to buy hard these strips, right? You don't want to buy hard or study these strips. I'm just giving you a simple sample code. If you like, you can try. Otherwise, just remember how these vectors are created. Vectors are calculations. Okay, let's say I need to do this three times. I need to do this, okay, three times. Um, and right, each time I need to, okay, Go this side after drawing a rectangle. After drawing a triangle, let's do some other thing. Uh, at the corner, one, two, three sides. The second side. So after drawing the first side, uh, forward on 50. And after that, I just need to, okay, I'm, I'm using another one for, let's say, G in range. Uh, four. I am not. I'm going to. Uh, sorry, five. I'm going to draw a pentagon, small pentagon, uh, small pentagon at the edge of the triangle. A pentagon. The degree is t dot uh, forward. I need very small one. So let's say I need five pixel pentagon, uh, five pixel to move forward and then rotate uh, left side. So 72 degrees to get the pentagon, 72, yeah, 72 degrees, 72 into five will be 360. Well, let's see what will happen now. So you can make little this, this complex, right? So this one, you can change the color even, let's say T dot C O L O R, and I'm going to mention green color here, and uh, green color, and for this one, I'll mention T dot C O L O R. I need this to be in, in say, um, blue color. Likewise, so you can add colors, you can do different decorations. Likewise, so you can enhance this graphic. So this is the next, next version of graphic that I'm going to create. Oh, nothing happens. So why is that? Is there anything wrong? Well, I think the blue has a problem, BL. So let me run it again. Okay, here we are. A blue color one and small, and the corner you can see a pentagon in the corner. So this is a different one now, a different illustration. But it will take some time to complete the shape but a completely different illustration will come now. So look at that. Let's keep on adding the lines. Right? So a different shape will be created. Let's see the final result. Let's wait a few, few, few minutes. I think it will take two minutes to complete.
Okay, see the illustration? This is a different one. Maybe you can create a flower, but symmetric mainly like these shapes are like kind of specific. So think about creating a face this way. Will it be easy or difficult? Can we create a face like this? We can, but will it be difficult or easy? I need your answer. If you're not sleeping, hello. Yes, what do you think? Will it be easy or will it be difficult? No idea. Only thing is I have to write the strip, right? I had to write the strip. This strip need to be carefully created, right? Creating vectors. There are vectors. Vectors can be created for different things. Faces can be created, but creating a vector face is not easy. So let's say you can download vector graphics by searching, let's say a tool vector, you can say SVG, SVG, scalable vector graphics. Then you can just go to uh, SVG tool and this is another one, this is free pick. LK. These are some websites that you can download SVG images. Some for some images you need to pay. For some images you can download for free. So I think this one use uh, images for free. Yes, you can download these images. These are scalable vector graphics. But so you can see those are nice, but use a lot of strips. So a simple one can be okay. This face is a bit simple. It's premium, right? You have to pay and get that. Um, okay, let's say, let's see this face. Shall we download it for free? It's basically a strip, right? It is basically EPS means it is a strip, right? You can download, free download. You will get a strip. Let's see. Right click and extract this. Actually, you will get both uh, vector and raster both in this. Means uh, when you extract here. So this is the raster. So you will get the raster file also. JPG can raster for JPG can pixel base. You can make a zoom karam pixel pain. You can see the pixels, right? I hope. Yeah. Okay, here the pixels are appearing. But this EPS version, this is a strip right here. You can see this is a strip. EPS kill again a strip tag. Here. Encapsulated pause strip. Encapsulated pause strip. So when you double click, it will generate a PDF, but you will not be able to see the EPS. There are files where you can, you can open EPS. This is like the screen size PDF will be created, but PDF is not the EPS, right? That is not the EPS. You can zoom it, but that is also showing the pixels. So this is not actually the EPS. On demand, so device a type packet, avashita anu at a owner size look wake up making hadagan by editing this EPS, right? You can create any right but this uh there are there are programs which can read this encapsulated post strip eps to read eps and edit eps there are software even photoshop can open that i'm not sure edit eps files online there are yeah yes this one i think uh Yeah, this will support, I'm not sure, fine people. Yes. 
there are some advertisements you have to close that and get the results this advertisement anyway so you can just uh, see whether like offline or so there are editors this e by editing the eps you can generate any size any size image using that vector because it is just an algorithm it is just a coding so using that code you can generate any size shape similarly the make if i change this to uh, like 150 than to a 100 demo if i put 100 and uh, if i change uh, uh, like speed let's say 100 some high speed if i try to do that now the image will be uh, smaller than the previous one. Right, you can see smaller than the uh, earlier one. Likewise, you can try to create different images, different sizes. So all these are possible, right? So you can see it is smaller than the previous traffic. This way you can create. Okay. All these facilities, features are there. Okay, so let it be. Move to the note. Uh, right. So, but as they say, this is not the real case. Uh, you know that even using uh, raster graphic, if you use higher number of pixels, you can show the image without pixelating. But anyway, at one time, at some time, it will pixelate. So, that will happen. So, that will happen. So, that will happen. So, that will happen. Right. Okay. So, graphic design. So, we know. So, that is basically editing graphics image manipulation, editing images, creating images, all this belongs to the domain of graphic designing, right? Taking pictures, editing, manipulating, and creating new images. So all these belong to the domain of graphic design. Okay, GIMP is the tool that we are going to use. GIMP name is GNU Image Manipulation Program. So please write down GIMP means GNU Image Manipulation programs. Ah, it's there, right? What is GNU? GNU image manipulation program, right? I think. Manipulation program. <coughs> Meaning of GNU is GNU is not Unix. It is Unix like it is Unix Unix like Unix wage have a Unix name. That is the meaning. Right? Make a G and make a G is this not Unix. That is what the GNU is. Inside that the GNU okay, I in a GNU that new is also make it to the GNU tapo expand karot. If you expand this again, you will get GNU is not Unix, right? This is called a recursive name. Recursive name can I'm at the I am a material. This GNU is GNU is not Unix. That GNU is GNU is not Unix. That GNU is also GNU is not. They can question like what Unix name is. He paraki under the gene go get the money. Unix This is not Unix. I make it a definition like a deal at you know, like a potal professor's lahema. So I don't know why these people are doing this. Jim Software is Unix based. Unix Neve Gira and Munkira. GNU is not Unix. Right? So they have informed that GNU is not Unix. Jim is GNU, GMU image manipulation program, and GNU is not Unix. This is not Unix. This is Unix. This is Quick watch and act in a scalari or no moment, hurry to mother can have. Yeah, so because of like he was really pained, it was really pained to him, and he, he was really upset about that. 
So similarly, if uh, the person who has developed GNU is there, when uh, and the particular person read this book, all your ICT books, he might die. But unfortunately, fortunately, he's not there currently. He might die because the thing is, he they are telling that these people are telling that the, the producer are telling that or oh, the uh, people who created the program here, Jim. They are telling that this is not Unix and this is Linux based. Right? They are saying that this is Linux based. Yeah. GNU is Linux. Right? GNU is a cross platform image editor available for GNU Linux. GNU is not Unix, Linux. Unix name is Unix Wage. Unix name is Unix Wage. It is Linux. Unix no one, Unix Wage is Linux. So they are, they are telling that they have developed this for Linux. So please remember, but our people have altered this to Unix. Please cut down this word. This is for, this is not the Unix way, this is for Linux. Linux, this is for Linux, not for Unix, right? Unix is a different commercial operating system. It is, uh, like it is created before Linux. Linux world the Kalinta Unix had way. It is a commercial operating system. Right. Actually, people were searching a free operating system for Unix-like operating system, which is free. Then Linux was introduced as a GNU. Linux was introduced. GNU means GNU is not Unix. So that is uh, the like. Linux like operating system, sorry, Unix like operating system, but it is not Unix. Okay, you can download this for any platform, even for Windows, even for Mac OS. GIMP is available. Have you downloaded GIMP? Yes or no? If yes, tell me. If no, again, tell me. Right? Just send me to chat. Lavani, have you downloaded Linux? Sorry, Jim. And installed. Timasha, what about you? No. Can we download it now? Or what do you think? If you have data, we can download it now and install. If not, can do another day. You have to decide. Timasha, if you share the stream, can you download today or what, what about your situation today? So do you have enough data to download it or? Can you? Lavanya, what about you? If possible, let's download and install. There's an online version also, but that online version, you can install as a browser extension, but that is not faster. That will be slower because it is online. Please write down these points. So let's see the browser extension is there online. So you can just execute that using the browse extension. Browse online editor. But this online editor is very slow. Here, I have added the extension. This is it. Uh, yes. GNU not here. This is GNU, the online version, but it is slow. See here, you have all the tools. This is stage, and this is where you edit the image, right? And the image menu appears there. This is your workspace, and this is the toolbox. And options are there here. <coughs> the related options will appear in the bottom. The tool related options will appear in the bottom, but this is a bit slow, right? So click that. The tool related options will be appearing here. And here the layer palettes, uh, brush uh, layer palette brushes, those things are there. 
and uh, here also the brush sizes and brush decorative brushes brush shapes all these things will be here this is about brushes tools tool options tools tool options and here the palettes and brushes okay so there is online version but uh, i recommend you download that at least by next day please try to download and install it right, today we will be doing the practical using uh, similar tool photoshop but that is not gym photoshop is a commercial tool right photoshop is a commercial tool i can use that but the thing is the free tool is gym right you use it i'll explain using the both tools here the tool tool set is there in photoshop tool test set is here here you can see the options or additional things related to tools but when you select a tool this appears in the top make it would appear in the method of options you can see when you select a tool options will be here but may path they make a method in select karam yata thama options way and this is the work area both are similar the menus similar and you have layer palette brushes etc here in this section you can see different brushes are there different layer palettes are there so layers are there layers means independent right layers means independent work sheets independent sheets the main toolbox tool options second image window third this one layers channels and paths yes here layers channels and paths second thing is channel channels means you have rgb you can divide this to uh, can we see the channels let's see window channels channels yes, channels channels here you can divide this to me here so when you take only uh, so let's let me remove Here. when i remove blue red and green appears when i really re, uh, remove green red appears these are the red colors red variants available and uh, and these are the green variants available green only and these are the blue variants available if you remove the green red and blue variants will be displayed this is the mixture if you remove the blue red and green will be displayed if you remove the red green blue will be display if you add red green blue all three then you can see the full color profile right these are the channels paths i have not yet added any path but if i add the path paths will be here i'll explain that next day okay now you have some idea what is a layer so let me explain that as well so let me duplicate right click and duplicate the layer if i do some okay if i do some change to this layer let's change the layer uh, this layer colors right image adjustment i'm going to change the hue and saturation or oh, or oh, vibrance let's change the vibrance i'm increasing the vibrance increasing the saturation also or decrease in the saturation like this or like this okay i have changed the layer now you can see this looks like a drawing in the mega chip track again there this looks like a drawing because i have increased the saturation right increase the uh, these things and i can further edit this so let me further edit this using the mixture brush tool i'm going to do some uh, artistic work with this image I'm going to draw okay some arts make this little artistic so looks like a drawing now reducing the colors color variance
okay but uh, here i also just add some effect on here oh sorry let me stop it I just want to make it like oil paint or just like a pencil paint or something. Okay. You can see now it looks like uh, an art, a drawing. Because I have just disrupted the colors, removed them. And let's add a filter. Uh, then let's add uh, uh, some filter. This uh, pixel. Customize from uh, start image. Mm. Not that. Okay, let's blur it a little bit. Shape blur. That's it. It will take more time. Filter blur. Smart blur, okay. Yeah, that is better. Okay. Now you can see this image is distorted. This is not the original what we had. But I have edited different layer. Therefore, I can remove this layer. Still, the original image is there. Right? I can remove this layer. Still, the original is there without any disruption. So see, the original is there. If I have edited that in the same layer, the original layer will be damaged. But since I have done this in a different layer, that original layer or the bottom layer is, has not affected. I can mix both layers even. I can mix this layer and the bottom layer and get a different type of art like this. Okay, this is a different type of art that I can come up with. Can mix it and generate a different graphic. Right? Okay. Here we are. So this is a different version. So, but I can remove this always. I can remove the top layer always. I can change the color. Maybe whatever I'm doing for the first layer, right? I can make it black and white. So whatever I'm doing for the first layer will not be affected to the second layer. So that is the idea of this, right? Please understand that. So that is why we are having multiple layers because to independently edit that, to independently, independently edit the, okay. Then, uh, Okay, let's learn about the tools. Right now, we know about the layers, why layers are there. So, let's learn about the tools. The first set of tools are selection tools. Selection means we can select area. Sorry, we can select an area of our image. How? Okay, so the first tool here is a rectangle. Ellipse, again select in elliptical area. Free or lasso tool. Why there is lasso? Because free uh, form selection is there in this, right? I have given this in the node. So free form is, this is the tool name here. Free select is the tool name in GIMP. Lasso is the tool name in Photoshop. 
fussy select is the tool in fussy select is the tool in gym fussy select this one but magic wand is the tool in photoshop by color is the tool in uh, gym but you don't have such tool in photoshop scissor select is the tool in gym create the path to select shapes and foreground select is also there so these are some additional tools which are there but there are similar tools but not the same okay let's do that now rectangle select elliptical and free select and fussy select let's do that quickly and actually this foreground select can be done using the quick selection tool so let's do that now quickly using photoshop right rectangle select this area click it get the tool draw over the layer now i have selected the rectangular area of this image a rectangular area of this image so let's cut Control x and when you cut you can see the image is removed and you can see green color why green color because green color is the background color here there are two colors in gym also there are two colors in the window here so you see black and white normally make a color i can shift back to black and white i thought i'm cut white and the black if i draw using the brush it is black oh sorry that is not the black brush my mistake i will get the brush this is black uh how to increase the opacity now you can see black right okay. draw in black erase in white similar to when i cut this it's white when i copy this control c copy control c control v to paste now there is a different layer but you cannot see because i have copied on top of that so let me apply a small effect. I'm going to apply a shadow. Now you can see this has a nice effect. It looks like a glass. Right? But what I have actually done, I have I have copied part of I have copied part of this first layer, pasted on top of that, and applied a shadow. But you can see this as a glass, a glass effect. What I have done, I have copied, pasted. That is why I said, please install Jim. If you have installed Jim, you can also do this. You could have done this. And you will get the experience. Karana, make experience. Balang hit your experience. I have a command name. Balang in the lari lagada sekara. Okay, do you have any doubts? If you have doubts, you can ask today. Okay, let, let me uh, erase this layer. Instead of that, let me select rectangular area now elliptical area selecting elliptical area let's copy and paste control c control v let's add the same effect uh, drop shadow and you can see here it's also at last right a drop shadow then if you want you can blur this that will give nice effect filter blur uh, let's blur this gaussian blur. You can see now the image is blurred. This is nice effect, right? Because you have blurred using the same color, same color combination. And that blur will give nice highlight to the selected area. Okay, here it is. So editing images, it's not difficult, right? If you learn graphics, but these are not very difficult tasks. I have copied, pasted the image. Then what I have done? The first layer I have applied the shadow. Second layer, I have blurred it. Now you can see this layer highlighted. Right? Okay. So let me undo. Control Z to undo. Right? Control Z to undo. Z back. Z back. And now you have the original. So two selections. Two type of selections. Now done. 
the next is uh, so the free selection here the lasso tool i can select specific area only i'm selecting the uh, here i have to select use the feather option let's feather it to 10 feather can we hit the that option so take a value no i know let's select this area now okay and let's select also free select if you have good mouse control you can do this nice way if you don't have a good mouse control you have to be careful when they skin like this selecting like this okay done so then let me select the invert the may area i can select in the select i can go to the select menu and inverse so then uh, let me go to image adjustment i'm making that black and white let's see what will happen so making black and white deselecting to deselect you can go to select and none now you can see so the girls girls image is highlighted but the background is in black and white so actually you can do more with this you can go to the sponge tool and then uh, desaturate means remove the color of unwanted areas too right that may make pull apart lava to the road even time color than yeah. using this is using a tool actually right let's use the tool otherwise this selection is not really good selection like on the selection like up maybe you are like a bargain to select the lucky tool therefore i'm just applying this and this and this this. you have to be careful like uh, remove the brush make the brush smaller and do this otherwise like these areas will be affected okay i hope that this is really good okay okay up here and here okay i'm done i think i'm done yes yes so, yes so now i have highlighted the girl on so other things in the black color these things can be done by doing a selection applying selection is very important why selection right now i have removed the background another way i, I have changed the background to black and white and uh, the object that I, uh, that I want to highlight this girl, I change her to uh, color and the background to black and white. That is also a kind of effect. To do that, I have done a free selection. Free selection, invert kara. I have selected the background and then removed the then uh, made it black and white. This is another edit. Now we have discussed about few more edits, ne? right? So how many tools we have done? Uh, we have already done these tools, I guess. Yes, free, uh, elliptical, and this one, free selection tool, we have done. Then what is fussy selection? Those are easy. Fussy selection will select the color, similar color areas, right? This, this is fussy select. Make it make a magic wand here. Okay. Selecting similar color areas. A color area, a color select. What on a make a very current not pull one? You can increase the tolerance amount. Let's say tolerance is 150, then it's selecting a new comma select again 150, and you can see selecting very large area. But if you reduce this to five pixels or get them with four pixels, it is a relatively small area, right? Relatively small area. That is fussy select and uh, then the quick selection quick selection again pull one up it order 
foreground ekak tag gala select karagan by just drawing over the foreground you can just select this object very quickly using the quick selection tool but this is based on intelligence so it can it may select additional areas right so you have, you have no control over that so you have to be very careful when selecting because it might go out and select additional areas me podde hame avuna me eliyata gihilla additional areas select karaganna balana therefore you have to be careful that is similar to this what is the tool here the tool here is uh, this one foreground select quick selection select similar colors you have different one to select similar colors ekak select karala here you can select using any selection tool let's say we can select kara kiyala uh, fuzzy select again magic wand again similar colors you can go to select similar ara kenan tool ekak thiyena similar color selection here you have to go to the menu and select similar that will select similar color areas basically white color white light like light colors basically right so it select similar color areas then scissor select scissor select create a selection that intelligently snaps into the edges you can adjust well to auto align now make it thiyena him ekak me thiyena magnetic lasso make a udi mehema giyan giya me automatically me edge walta alena this is like a scissor select ara king me karama te me automatically edge walta alena then it's easy to select the edges but again you have to be careful because this automatic or intelligent process can be wrong meka veradi wenna puluwa therefore you have to be careful when selecting using scissor select Or magic, or this uh, magnetic lasso. Then, uh, okay, let's learn some other tools. Text tool is to add the text. You can see this T tool, A tool in uh, Jim, T tool in here. Both are text tools. It will allow you adding a text. Me thi ne text ka add kar kar ne. and pen bucket tool and gradient tool ha ene kat bala pen bucket you can click and select different color let's say i want to fill this in blue color then i can drop the pen bucket etoda ara ekka color ekey area ekey ekka para change wenna එක කලයක ඒරියා එකක් තමයි එක පාර චේන්ජ් වෙන්නේ. ඒක වෙනස් කරන්න පුළුවන්. If you want to change that, you have to use the tolerance value. If you want to change that, you have to use the tolerance value and change. Tolerance එක අඩු කරොත් කලයක විහිදීම අඩු වෙනවා. So it will stop the like it will stop spreading it here and there. But if you increase the tolerance, tolerance increase කරොත් tolerance increase karo let's increase to 120 wage daamu let's put that and you can see spread in more areas so they can you join like uh, the next week uh, is it possible to you to join around uh, 7 pm because like uh, now we are doing a practical lesson ne? so this lesson is like even though this is done in english medium singular medium doesn't matter because anyway this is a practical no same thing because the note is anyway given in english medium so if you can join 7 pm would be great if possible please indicate can you if can can if cannot cannot so very simple i can do the class don't worry this is since this is practical lesson since i'm repeating this two times that is why i'm telling like possible spread only for the practical sessions like this one audacity and Uh, three other uh, other things i'll do the other things i'll do separate class right just indicate if you are free can't right okay doesn't matter right okay 
doesn't matter then uh, please join uh, this time right same time not changing the time right because you have some problems i'm not changing okay then <coughs> But if you have difficulties, you can join earlier, right? If anyone having difficulties, like Vima, I think Lavanya can join. So if Lavanya can join, can join earlier. Doesn't matter, right? Then you can sleep early. Okay. Uh, doesn't matter. I'll do the class in regular time, right? I'm not changing. Okay. Then the color, uh, this color bucket, me gradient tool is basically dropping. So different gradient styles. You can see. So I can select from these gradient styles. And apply gradients like this. But it will totally vanish the image. Then what can I do to stop this? Like I can put this in a new layer. Here, new layer. Or I can go to the layer, new layer. Or I can here also the plus marks, add in layer. So let's add this to a different layer. Then I can go to the effects. From here and just apply some effect like this. Okay. I can add effects like this. Actually, what I have done, I have added a gradient. This is a normal gradient. So here let me add some different gradient. Uh, okay, this one. I added some layer gradient like this. Then the gradient, I have applied that over. This gradient, I have applied over. Oops. Giving a different kind of look, different color combination. And you can just lower that. By lowering the opacity, you can lower the color effect. Here, some color effect, small color effect. Hard color effect, very small color effect, medium color effect. Likewise, you can just control. That is using the gradient tool. Gradient and color bucket. Paint bucket taking a color gradient taking to the overall picture or the selection. We can add a color combination, color mixture. That is a gradient. Okay, we have already discussed these tools. Paint bucket, gradient, pencil and brush and eraser. So pencil, brush and eraser. Let's discuss about them also. Pencil tool is a one pixel brush. Here the pencil, it is just one or two pixel. This is two pixel now. It's a brush with hairline. You can draw using pencil. And it will draw hair lines like small solid lines. So maybe good in drawing hair. Right? Let's undo control Z to undo. So brush is a bit larger. Yeah. Let's draw in larger. Larger paint is applied over the brush. There are different brush shapes. There are different brush shapes you can apply. Okay. There are different brush shapes you can apply. So the, or the brush types that you can apply. And let me select that. So when you go to the brush here, also the brush types are coming. Yeah, you can see different, different brushes. A lot of brushes are there. Or you can just load brushes from here also. This way you can select any brush. Let's select some brush. Okay, a lot of brushes there. Dry with brushes. Special effect brushes. What are they? The cloud stars. And this one. Leaves like brushes. You can just try. So what are these brushes? Okay. Nice, right? You can use these brushes. So let me erase using this brush. I can even use eraser. So when I brush you using this, you can see the brush comes in this color. No? Brush again. Erase. If I erase. Hmm. Let me erase. 
using the eraser. What's the eraser? Oh, here's the eraser. If I erase using the same, that special brush, this one, you can see it erase this. Oh, that is brush, right? That is brush, sorry. That is brush. And for the eraser also, I can see like that. Mm, here, you can move there. Brushing and erasing. So this is actually brushing. For erase also, you know, so you can just change the colors. Here, change the color to white. Change the color to white and change the brush to this. This is erasing white. Okay. Then if you want to have effect, so let's select like this. I don't want to erase inside. I just want to erase the outside. Then select the inverse. And yes, select the inverse. So select this, select the inverse, and then erase or brush. Then this will be applied to outside only, not applied to inside. This is also an effect. In corners, you can, uh oh, okay. in corners, you can minimize the effect like this. Let's minimize the effect into the corners. Okay, here we are. Okay, these kind of creations can be done. And maybe uh, you can use uh, the smooth one to erase over to here. Just reduce this a bit. Okay, here we are. And so it's also kind of effect. Right, I think you have seen these things in, so this is just using brush and eraser, right? Different brush style. So see, I think you have seen this kind of images in the internet, which is very easy to create. This is to remove the style. And I think it's nice with the gradient, right? It's nice with the gradient effect. Okay, these kind of things you can do. You can do like now. Actually, I'm, I'm uh, so I'm not a so you know that I'm not a traditional teacher that teaching just uh, the tools and all. I'm always teaching teaching the applicability. Therefore, some students, actually more students, they think this is difficult. I do my class like I'm not really like that. Now, what I do, because mama, after that, tool like with that, kill the deal. Now, what I mean. Applicability, but if you really love IT, if you really love practicals, uh, you will love this uh, class. I know that. Why at the Masa in a borrowed IT kernel and Tama, where shape peg Marvela Nikang in the video on the hard anchor, not you would take a yellow kill. We were at the mighty world as I know at the mighty world. Capatina, you know, practice kernel. Okay, what are the tools that we discuss up to now? We discuss about this set of tools. We discuss about this set of tools. Uh, or airbrush and ink, I'll discuss next day. Then uh, a color picker, I'll discuss now, right? I'll discuss text tool, buckets, we discuss gradients and all. Uh, zoom, clone, these things I'll be discussing next day because we have enough time. No need to hurry. Okay, let's discuss the color dropper, eyedropper. Eyedropper is like a color dropping. Or color picking, color picker, making our pen or body lament behave then a makeup for gay cup. You can click on this and get the color here. You can get that color. Click on this, you can get this color. Click on this, you can get this color. Okay, let's this skin color. It's this, and I'm taking a new, new layer, and then I'm just brushing. Just use, okay, I have picked this color, then I can brush using this. So let's use some different brush this time. Anyway, let's use, let's use, let's use, let's use this one, a cloudy, misty one. Okay, I have my brush. I cannot see the brush. A different layer. Oh, it's nice. I think it's applying horizontally the other way. Anyway, it's nice. So, oh, what's going on? Too much styles.
Oh, I'm using some other one. So I think I have to use uh, this one, brush and change the, change this brush to which one I have used. I think uh, this one, right? Oh, then it's changing the it's changing the automatically is changing the tool to uh, smudge tool. Smudge tool is like smudge kill again and then go put in the gate in the ticket. This is smudge. It's also nice adding some effect. Yeah, so you can see anyway. So this is a how I have done. This is using a different brush. Okay. Here we are. We end up with this. Okay, another effect. Another effect. Right? These kind of things are. So I'll be discussing the uh, like we have another day to discuss this practical. I'll be discussing that next day, right? Okay, please practice these tools. So if you want to do this online, I can suggest you an, another platform which is uh, similar to Photoshop. You can try with this tool, Photopia. But my recommendation is please download Jim because that is what you in your syllabus, not the Photoshop and Photopia. So please download Jim. So that is the recommended way of doing that. But Photopia also has all these tools in case if you cannot download, and in case like if you have like storage issues, internet issues, you can go to Photofia. But my recommendation is please try to get, please try to do this using Jim, right? That is my recommendation. Here also you have all these tools. So everything here, the layers are there, then the menus are there. You can open the pictures, do the same using Photofia website. But my, my recommendation is download Okay, your note is ready. I, as I said, please collect it from Ms. Lakmali. And I'm going to stop from here for today. And next day, I'll be discussing the remaining tools and finish this up and we'll start the audio and video editing part. Then good night. <laughs>